Hello Libra, this is Renee, and welcome to your reading for December the 15th through the 31st. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads, and make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity in your situation. Okay, Libra, you have abundance. Okay. At the bottom, you have impatience. So what are you impatient about? You have abundance. And you have in perfect harmony. So I feel like this is going to be a wonderful month for you, Libra. At the bottom, you have a royal you. So yes, you are a queen, you are a king, and you should be treated as such. I feel like someone is going to treat you like a queen during this holiday season. Okay, you have inspiration and courage yeah i feel like you are really inspiring someone or someone is inspiring you libra and we have cleansing body and spirit so yeah i really feel like if you're not taking time out for yourself take time out to pamper yourself this season you deserve it a queen deserves to be pampered. Okay, and you have the lynx, keeper of secrets. Take time out from the world and to be the observer, nothing can deceive you when you trust your knowing. You see other secrets and keep them sacred in silence and solitude. You find your strength. Yes, exactly. Exactly, Libra. And you also have the cougar, which is assertive. In silence, you find your power. So I feel like in silence. Now, both of these cards are really referring to you as in silence so i feel like you're taking time out for your solitude you're definitely taking time out by yourself to regroup to regenerate to rejuvenate your mind body and soul in silence you find your power claim your leadership claim your leadership role and take action you know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and the confidence to succeed. Definitely, Libra. You definitely do. And I feel that for you. And I feel like, you know, um, for some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, um, maybe you've went through something um, recently maybe you were going through some tough times but i feel like those times are over i feel like you conquered whatever challenges that you had whatever challenges that you faced and you came through the other side <clears throat> now over here at the bottom of this deck we had impatience so interesting i feel like you're impatient but spirit is letting you know to be patient now is the time to learn, to study, to gather your information. Enjoy being a student because in the future, you will synthesize your knowledge into action. Yeah, so a lot of these cards are signifying that you're going to be taking action. You are powerful. You are, um, and I feel like it has to do with your perfect harmony and your abundance. I feel like you know, you taking your action in this situation is going to bring you happiness and abundance. Beautiful, beautiful Libra. 
you will have rigid on the bottom. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. Yeah, so there still may be an obstacle to overcome here, but I feel like you are definitely on the right track, Libra. I feel like you are moving definitely. You're definitely moving in the right direction. The first thing wanted to pop out, the magician. Right underneath abundance and perfect harmony, you have the magician. So I feel like whatever you're manifesting, whatever you're trying to bring into your reality is going to be total worth it. And look at this. Look at this, Libra. Ten of Cups. The Magician and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like you are definitely manifesting something that's going to bring you great, great happiness with this perfect harmony and this Ten of Cups beautiful reading so far and i feel like you've done so because you've looked at things from all the perspectives you have the hangman so i feel like you you're surrendering to the divine you are in the knowledge that the universe has your back that the universe wants the best for you at all times so whatever we ask for we're going to receive it you have the five of wands. So under inspiration and courage, you may have a few challenges. You may have a few obstacles that you have to go through. Let's see what else we have. We have the emperor. Yeah, but you're going to count. You are going to conquer these challenges and these obstacles with ease, Libra. You have the emperor. So you're very powerful. You're very powerful at this moment. Um, this could also be an Aries that surrounds you, showing you their power. And you have the uh, Three of Swords in reverse. So I feel like whatever doubts, whatever fears that you had, you're actually releasing those doubts and fears. So I feel like that's a beautiful thing. And if you are in search for love, love is coming to search for you. Definitely, definitely feel that energy for you. You also have the star. So I feel like this is something that you wish for. This is something that you brought into fruition. This has brought you a lot of healing and a lot of nourishment to your soul. And you have the Empress. So yes, this is another card of manifestation. She can manifest whatever it is she wants because she's very fertile. She's a good mother. She's a good partner. She is the full package. She is all four queens rolled up into one. So yes, if it's love that you're looking for, Libra, you got it. It's coming. You have the King of Cups. So it could be a Pisces Scorpio or a cancer that's coming your way. It doesn't have to be, but I feel like this King of Cups is here to show you a lot of great love, to give you the patience that you need. And I feel like they are going to treat you like their star. I feel like you inspire them, Libra. I feel like you inspire them to do great things, to be the emperor. Beautiful energy. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know what, this person may be a boss. This person may be giving you some kind of information. Um, they may be making you some kind of offer. They may be um, bringing you some kind of news. Or I feel like this person is moving at your pace. Like, they're having patience. Like, if you want to move slowly, if you want to take your time to get to know this person, to get to know their background. Um, I also feel like maybe you're doing a little investigating about this person. You also have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you are really soul searching. 
you're following your intuition you are really um i feel like you're really trusting yourself in this situation you trust you're trusting this person you trust that this person is following the same path you are let's get an outcome for libra okay we have the two of pentacles so i feel like whatever the situation is i feel like it makes you feel more balanced it's something that you've definitely been waiting for this is something that you would choose at any time and i'm i feel like it makes you feel like you're enlightened like your whole future is opening up i feel like you're really looking towards the future with this person you're looking for something long term this is a thoughtful new beginning <laughs> yes definitely you have the high offense so this may be someone you can spend your life with this is someone that you in the future if you're not already married if they haven't already proposed this is someone you want to have as your soulmate this is someone you want to marry and we have the fool definitely because you've taken this risk because you followed your journey i feel like this new beginning is definitely your destiny look at all these major arcana in this reading you are following your destiny spirit is giving you a very strong message <laughs> yes definitely this is your soulmate this is your soulmate libra this is an exciting new passionate love that's going to last a lifetime you also have the knight of wands at the bottom so i feel like there's a lot of fire there's a lot of passion in this situation. I feel like you're very attractive. This person finds you very attractive. They find you very beautiful, very soulful. And I also feel like this person has the same qualities. I feel like you see in this person a fire, a spark. And I, I feel like it's going to bring you so much joy and happiness with this Ten of Cups and in perfect harmony. It's also going to bring you abundance. Now, abundance isn't always money. Abundance can also be love. It can also be friends. It can also be family. It can also be your good health. But I feel like this is going to bring you great abundance, Libra. Let's get some manifestation cards. Let's see what you are manifesting at the moment, Libra. Let's see what you're manifesting. We have, yes, definitely, Libra. First quarter moon in Aries. Step into your power. Definitely. And what did I say? This could be an Aries coming through with this emperor energy. This could definitely be an Aries, but this can be another sign too. You have so many major arcana. You have the whole, the whole 12 here. <laughs> you have Gemini, you have Libra, you have Scorpio. I mean, you have them all. Make time for self-love. Yes. Take time to pamper yourself, Libra. You deserve to feel royal. Take a breather. Last quarter moon in Cancer definitely take a breather to rejuvenate yourself and new moon in libra thank you for showing up libra know you are loved definitely and what you may not see is the first quarter moon in cancer push through any insecurities definitely i feel like what's coming for you libra is very strong very happy it's going to make you very emotional it's going to overwhelm your heart um but i'm feeling like you're definitely coming out of any doubts 
any fears, any insecurity, especially with this three of wands in reverse. You are, this is your month, Libra. This is definitely your month. Yes, definitely. You are good enough. You're royalty. You're a queen. You're a king, Libra. And we have hold your vision, fix moon. Yes. Whatever you, you've manifested, whatever dreams that you've had, hold your vision. Believe in the impossible, Libra. Maybe you didn't think that this person would come through. Maybe you thought that they wouldn't find you attractive, but they do. Believe in the impossible. Prosperity lies ahead, Libra. New moon in Taurus. Exactly. And what you may not see at the bottom, just like with the manifestation deck, you know, work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. So yeah, lay your fears to rest. Uh, your fears have no place in your life. Um, when we venture into love in order to free our mind we want to we want to pursue that love fearless and when you gain your power as powerful as you are Libra, i feel like you need to go into anything that you want to succeed fearlessly fearlessly say it in the comments i am fearless my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Yes, because you're fearless, Libra. Definitely. You're powerful. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. I am unapologetic about what I desire and I trust that what I focus on will grow yes whatever you desire you should always be unapologetic for it because what you want is what you want what you deserve and you deserve the universe the universe has my back definitely and what you don't see on the bottom my happiness is a direct reflection of my level of faith in the universe. Definitely. Now let's see. I don't see any challenges here. I really don't. I don't see any challenges. You did have the five of wands, but I feel like those are just small little obstacles. But what does Libra have to do um, to overcome any obstacles or challenges that they face at this time? Peace. I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy. Of course, yes, be positive. Be positive in, in your energy, and good things will come to you. Any negativity is going to block those good things. So any negativity that you feel, make sure you meditate. Make, make sure that you block that negativity from entering into your energy. And envy. I am the same as everyone, but with different challenges. Yeah, so you may have people around you that are very jealous of your situation, that are kind of envious of what you're climbing into, uh, Libra. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Definitely. And we're going to take one more card. Okay. And blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. Yes. What you don't see on the bottom, <laughs> you know what? This is the second time patience has come out. And I feel like you've been impatient about this situation. And I feel like spirit is letting you know this is what you need to do in order to conquer any challenges that you have to face. 
Just be patient. I accept everything happens in divine order. Yes, definitely. Definitely, Libra. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Now, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages. And with this reading, I don't believe you'd have to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising. This, this reading right here has everything that you could possibly want um, in a reading. This is beautiful. Have a beautiful month. Libra, love and light to you.